hello everyone in this video i will explain stack programming in c how to create a stack and uh, operation which performed on stack like uh, push pop so how to write a program to demonstrate concept of stack so we are going to develop stack using array so first we will include header file so we are going to use stdio.h because of printf scanf function so let's create a array so this array this time uh, this we are writing this program first time so we will make it simple so we are making a void main function so here we will create a array let's say name of this array is data and we are taking this one five element so we are creating a stack of five element and then we need a top variable which will point top element and in stack stack actually follow last in first out manner so element if we are inserting at last if it will pop that element will be popped first so here we will take a let's say loop and this loop we are going to run for infinity number of times and here we will print a menu uh, enter your choice what kind of operation you want to perform and we will store choice in a variable ch so we need to declare an integer variable okay so now we are done with choice so uh, before taking a choice we need to enter a menu so we will print a nice menu uh, first let's print a line and then we will print stack operations and now we will print operation what operation we are going to perform so one number is for push second number we want to give to pop and third number we want to give to uh, let's say peak and in case if you want to exit so we will take one more and we will give 4 so it will print a menu and uh, here uh, by default we will keep in choice 0 and here we will make cs not equal to so that if in case if you want to exit this loop will be terminated so now here we will write a switch case switch cs and so in case if uh, user is giving value 1 so in that case we need to enter a data in stack so first before entering data we need to check whether the stack is full or not so that thing can be checked by checking what is the value of top so uh, for this stack we are taking an array of five element so the last element will be stored on index 4 so we will check here if top is equal to 4 in that case what we will do we will simply print uh, stack is full so in case if uh, stack is not full what we are going to do we will increase value of top and then on that increased value we will put our element so in else part we will take a data 
from user what which data that user want to enter so we will ask enter data and we will store that data in a variable temp and this temp data has to be stored in array array name is data now on which index so we will increase top and then we will put that value on array so this is the push operation so we are done with push operation now we will write pop operation so this is case 2 so before popping any data we need to check whether the array is empty or not so in case of empty initially we will make it minus 1 so if our array is empty what we will do we will check top equal to minus 1 so in case of if top value is equal to minus 1 we will simply print stack is empty Okay. else part if stack is not empty what we will do we will print value of uh, so we will print pop element and so the top element will be popped so we will pop element which is stored on top index and then we will decrease this top variable so we need to close in braces so now we are done with uh, pop operation as well we forgot to insert break so here we need to write break so now we are going to write operation for peak so peak and pop both are a similar operation only one difference peak will take top element but it will not uh, take out from this stack that element will be there so it so if we take this element same we will take it now what we have to do we just need to delete this line and here we will peak element and break Now uh, we will make it default as well in case if user is giving any other choice. So we will ask user to give a proper choice. Not a good choice. And then we will break. So here uh, we are done with all the operation. So here uh, we forgot actually to declare variable temp. So we will save it. So we are saving this file on desktop. And we will now try to run it. Our file is on desktop that's why we need to first change our directory and then we will run this file okay so there is some error uh, let's see what is the error so it is showing error in 17 line okay so we actually forgot here m percent and similar i think we have it here as well so now this is okay Uh, we will run it again. Okay, now a program is compiled. Now we will run it. So here, uh, now it is taking choice. So initially our stack is empty. Now let's see whether these operations are working or not. So we will try to pop. We will try to run pop element. So it must say stack is empty. So we are going for choice two. Okay, so it gave a message stack is empty. So pop operation is working. So let's enter some data first. So we are going for choice 1. We are entering data 12. Again choice 1. 
23 so now let's see peak element peak operation so we are going for choice 3 and if you see at last we have entered data 23 so so our peak element is 23 so if we again run this peak element again it will show 23 because it is not taking out this data but if we go for pop l pop operation so it has popped 23 data now again if we go for pop operation it will show 12 so pop operation actually take data out but peak operation only print that value that's it so these are the basic stack operation thank you very much for watching